I told you that I thought I figured out how to put my phone on BNC making a P mode, yeah. but I didn't. It is. It says right now I'm making a P with C, but oh, it's but it said automatically. It came yeah, it says automatically. Oh, it says cool. it says making a P with C, but it's still gonna vibrate. That's the thing. I think that vibr. Oh no, that's not normal. No, so I have all. to just go on off of making a P with C and back on to do not disturb. There's also in therapy. Try again later. Oh. And my goal with that, I want them to like e blast to people who try to text me. Well, they should. Like, I don't know if it works for texting. It, it just says do not disturb. I know. I wanted to say those specific phrases. I wonder if you can do that. I don't know. I can try to text you right now. Let's see. It's not gonna. Wait. Let me go back on B and C making a P. Okay, see see what happens. Did you? Brooke A has notification silent. I have notification silent. Yeah. That is nice. It didn't vibrate, so I can say I'm making a P with C. I'm gonna text you. Yeah, back. eventually they should set text to have like an out of text, have an out of office email resp auto yeah, response. Yeah, exactly. I will get back to you, or I won't get back to you. If I. Mention an app. This is, I have a new app that's like the app of all apps. Like this is actually going to, I'm going to do something with this. If I talk about it, is, can someone steal it? Yes. Okay, so I can't talk. It's actually so good that I can't talk can about it. Can you whisper it. it to me? I told you about it. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, someone has I been think I'm going to reach out to. Um, something very similar. No. Oh, yeah. That's completely from my brain only. I'm gonna reach out to to boss Cody because he's should. an app man. Yeah, you should. Yeah, no, he's not busy at all. Uh -uh. He would of course want to be. You should actually building him. my should, app from the ground up. You should text him now. He's probably okay. he's probably hello the, all. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably in the mood to, to start coding. He is spending hours in the in the lab. He is. Hey guys, welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. We're back and feeling better than ever. Yeah, are you, you were a little under the weather, right? Hell yeah. Are you feeling oh my, better? Oh my God, I listened to that episode. I'm so sorry. No, don't apologize. No, I couldn't. I sounded like I had the suds. I was sitting here like, <laughs> like lips dry as a, as a. Something very something dry. so dry. Yeah. And then um, like pale as a ghost. I admire you because you've always been able to like push through sickness. I've always been able to super spread by not giving up and staying home. Yeah. I, if I'm sick, it's like you won't, I cannot get out of my bed. Like yeah. I will cancel everything. I will hold up. Like I can't function. And I wonder if it's because I have a low tolerance or I feel sickness more. It's probably low tolerance. I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was so sick and I was, I was absolutely hawking up a loogie every 14 seconds on this podcast. And I was just like, I'm such a hypocrite because I can't stand when people breathe out of their yeah. nostrils if they're not working. It's like, why would you try to force it? Just breathe out of your mouth. But then you get put in a position where you can only breathe out of your mouth. And it's like, no, I'm going to make these nostrils work. I got two holes. Mm -hmm. I got two holes and I'm not afraid to use them. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny is when I first started working at my, at, at bird, my last job, um, I w first got there and in my first week I was like, I can't keep my eyes open. It would be like 2 p.m. and I'd be having like my fourth or fifth coffee and I'm like about to cry. You know when you're so tired you could cry because like mm -hmm. you can't go to sleep. Like you're on a plane and you're so tired and you're like, I can't get comfortable. I can't, I have to just make myself stay awake. That's how I felt every single day at the office. That's the scariest feeling. Oh. When I you're would, like, I don't know, like if I have to stand up, the next time I have to stand up, like I don't know how I'm going to do that. No, it was like getting through every second was like, Okay, you got through like the last 10 minutes like and you look at the clock and it's like, oh, my God, I have to do that four more times. Oh, it's giving me chills. But I was like, maybe I'm really depressed. Mono. Mm -hmm. So that was right before COVID too. Like a part of me is like, Did you? was that like pre -COVID? No, I think that was mono. It was. Well, they said they said it was mono. Uh -huh. And then because they can't test for mono. By the way, that's something you get your they freshman year of college. Not like your second year out of college. 
you probably want to not get mono as an adult with a 401k, but what God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. For example, I was fired mm -hmm. and um, I got strep on top of mono, which was like a gnarly bang, bang. And the fact that you were standing up and working, it, that like I would be in the hospital. The craziest time. First of all, I didn't have, I didn't know how to work my insurance. So I went to urgent care four separate times. And I was, I didn't know this, but I was being slapped with 700 bills every single, $700 bills every time. And I called and I was like, this is a mistake. And they're like, okay, hung up. And it, nothing. I didn't pay anything. I don't think we're dealing with, with employee of the month at urgent care. Like, I think that they're just like, that's fine. I think it depends on the urgent care. Like, I've been to urgent cares that are like a utopia. Oh. And like I've been to way? some that are actually oh. dystopian. Yeah, utopia is a good thing. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Um, there was one day when I had both, when I had the mono strep combo platter. And collab feature. Like, <laughs> when mono and strep were collabing yeah. in my chest, uh -huh. uh, I had gone to sleep on a Friday and I woke up on a Sunday afternoon. I was so confused. I was so tired after work that I just passed out at 5 p.m. and I woke up at like 3 p.m. on Sunday. And I went out and it was when the wildfires had, were hitting. And so it was like 3 p.m. but it was pitch black in Santa Monica. I would have thought I died. Sorry, I died. Sorry, I died. I literally walk outside and I'm like, there's no way. And also like I couldn't breathe anyway. So I was like, it's not the smoke. It's it's, it's my body giving up on me and also it's midnight and I check my phone, I'm like, it's 3 p.m., no one's outside. I'm like, did like the rapture happen while I was, while I was resting? Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yeah, that was the day that I went in. The first person I had talked to that actually in two days was the urgent care facility person and I go to talk and I was like, oh, I hadn't talked to him. My throat was so swollen that I sounded like Kermit. How do you like come out of that type of sickness? They gave me, when I was like, you have to give me medicine, I can't breathe and I sound like Kermit. And I don't want to sound like Kermit right now. So there's a time and a place to sound like not Kermit. Now. I get a fun like cocktail party where you do your Kermit impression, but not like when you wake up after sleeping for two full days. And I'm like, I need something now. And they gave me an antibiotic and a steroid and immediately I was like, I'm better. Really? On the spot. That's great. Go figure. That's great. Modern medicine. Yeah. FTW. Yeah. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Connor. <laughs> Um, what's up, y'all? Nothing much. You want to hit it? I just talked about being ill for. Yeah, that kind of put me in a Ill in a space. Ill mood. Yeah. Sometimes talking about sick makes me sick. Well, Thinking about sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was sick the whole weekend, so I literally again was sick, and I didn't leave my house, mm -hmm. which was great. Like it makes me miss. Sorry, makes me miss COVID a little bit when it was like I don't want to do this. Sorry, COVID. I'm scared of COVID. Whatever. Like this weekend, I was like, I was feeling a little sick, but like I could have gotten up and done certain stuff. I was like, I, I'm feeling pretty gross. Well, I also think like you should like you sh need to Say you should no. let yourself rest. Yeah. Like I think that's your problem. Like you'll go on like a full bender, and then yeah. text me and be like, Ugh, like I think I'm sick. No, you just went on a full bender, and you're you're experiencing the results. Yeah. So let your body. I just got back from battle. Yeah. Let your body recover and rest well it's it's recovered and it's rested but i'm gonna keep acting like i'm like on my deathbed for the next i think 20 what's today 20 days i feel like the person days. that exists in the midpoint of like my ability to rest and your ability to rest is a successful person oh my god you're right that's like the sweet spot we're so on every spectrum known to man this yeah. is the resting spectrum i can't think of one thing that's not a spectrum I sprayed my cologne into my mouth today and it won't go away. And I'm having a French vanilla coffee. And I'm telling you right now, this is sewage. <laughs> the taste I'm experiencing. <laughs> it's like bizarre. Did Why did you spray that in your mouth? I thought it was aimed. I don't know. I was kind of in a rush, obviously. Uh -huh. And I was just like doing this and then also like either petting Max or doing something else. And I was like, hey, right to the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. Like I felt it, the spray... In my splash What kind zone. of cologne? Like, what are the underlying notes? Brooke, I told you that my new favorite cologne is the David Beckham Aqua cologne. Uh, I've, I've not heard you say that. It's the best thing I've ever smelled, and I'm, you know, bend it like Beckham right into the back cologne? of my throat. 
Yeah, I have my car uh, cologne. It's up there. It's it's those are my two favorite right now. And an air apostle maximum from when I was. In I haven't grade. smelled the car cologne in so long. Well, meet me in the parking lot, I babe. Will, I will meet you in the parking lot. Okay, cool. Um, I was in a rush today because Max. Every time I have Max, every morning, and I walk by people's houses, and I look in, and I see people with cats, and I'm like, they literally wake up, like flick off their cat and leave the house, and they could leave for three days. What and do you mean they, flick off their cat? Like they just like you know cats hate them, you know, or like hate people. I feel like. Oh, you mean like middle finger? Like, yeah. Oh. See you later. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Fitbod. Brooke. Hmm. You know what I say about every day? Tell me. That we have to make so many decisions. You what are we gonna eat that. for breakfast? Where am I gonna walk Max? Uh, what color underwear am I gonna be? Am I gonna wear underwear today? That is I am. And they're You're baby kidding. blue. Those are gorgeous pants. Thanks. Let's circle back We'll get on into those. that. Yeah. We'll get into that. We'll get into the outfit in a second. <clears throat> You've got enough to think about. Now planning your workouts doesn't have to be one of them. With FitBod, you just show up, open the app, and get to work on becoming your best self. It's even better than a personal trainer because it's cheaper, you can work out from home with no new equipment, and it's easier to build a personalized fitness plan that works for you. FitBot has made my workout routine so much easier yeah. because I don't have to think about what workout I need to do. I just open the app and have it ready for me. Sometimes thinking about the workout is more stressful than the workout. Thinking in 2024 about the workout is out. Out. Plus, they have workouts that I can do either at the gym with equipment or at home with just bodyweight workouts. Yeah. It's super flexible, and I'm excited to see the progress FitBot is going to help me with. 100%. FitBot also adapts as you improve, so each workout will be challenging and push you to make progress. Wow. Learn new movements the right way with over a thousand demonstration videos. FitBot is fine-tuned by experienced certified personal trainers to bring you the best practice, practices, that is, and exercise science to you. Show up and let FitBot handle the rest. Join FitBot today and get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbot.me slash B-A-N-D-C. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash B-A-N-D-C. It's like, you know, you don't have to like... I thought you meant like turn it off like a light switch. Oh. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I meant like give it the bird. Yeah. And I was... Like every day, Matt, like with Max, it's like, all right, he needs to walk around, like have enough of like a substantial walk where... where he feels stimulated enough for me to leave him for three hours mm -hmm. at home. Then he needs, I need to thaw out his farmer's dog. Yeah. And then I need to massage it into his bowl right. and fluff it up. He does not eat it unless I go, I have it on the counter and I go, ooh, this looks yummy. So that he thinks that I would also eat it if he wasn't, if I just like put it in his bowl on the ground, he's like, that's dog food. That's have you tried food. it? Be honest. No, oh, I will do it. Yeah. FaceTime me. I will do it. Like I, I know. I know for a fact I'm gonna try the chicken recipe from Farmer's Dog. To me, I've That's what you eat anyway. I completely mush. Yeah, I eat yeah, mush. Yeah. All my food, although I know every ingredient in it, it looks like slop. Yeah. It looks like some lunch lady from behind the counter is gonna go, Have a good Tuesday, baby. <laughs> like flop that onto my I know. Anyways, I'm gonna try it with a probably a wheat then. Oh. Looking I forward to Wheatons. it. Wheatons are underrated. Yeah. But I like to experience them just alone. I think that they're enough. Oh, yeah. They are, you're enough. I like to stack two on top yeah. of each other and put them. That's too dry. And slide them in like a CD-ROM. Mm -hmm. That would be too dry for me, but hey, DSDF. DSDF. Yeah. Um, so like every day I walk past people's house with cats and I'm like, oh, maybe I should get a cat. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, those people with cats, like I can smell their house from two blocks away. So I'm going to pass on that for now because Max doesn't smell. Yeah. I that. like, that's why I didn't want a cat. But I, so then I opted for a guinea pig, which also smells. Right. Yeah. So I think I'll just get a cat <laughs> next. I'm sure your or cat dog. and your guinea pig will get along or really dog. well. Yeah. I think a dog would get along better with a guinea pig than a cat would get along better with a guinea pig. I'm having war flashbacks to when I got my two hamsters and then they had 14 babies and then I had 16 hamsters. And it's so quick, life, like, it's it's crazy how, you know who said it best? One Direction. Oh, how fast the, the night, night changes. changes. When one night you have two guinea pigs, or two hamsters, yeah. and then the next night, 16. Yeah. I went from, like, a friend. To a family. To a family. We made that house a home. Yeah. So quickly. And I thought that the first night I was like, oh, they're attacking each other. Uh-huh. 
And they were making love. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. And guinea or uh, hamster pregnancies, by the way, last like four days and they have their whole baby sack. How long does a guinea pig pregnancy last? It's like I did kind of feel like Frankie not. would come back knocked up from the farm. Yeah, she, she's not new. She's not spayed. No, but she was kept. I don't think that she interact. She definitely didn't interact with men. Why? Because due to in case. Of in case pregnancy. of. Oh, is it like humans like you might not get pregnant if you have sex or do you get pregnant every time you have there's, sex? Yeah, there's there's animals that aren't as fertile, right? There's are there? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, sure. What? Yes. <laughs> to answer your question, in short, yes. Yes. Okay. Why drag it out? Um, I'm looking up um, guinea pig. Fertility rates? No, gestational period. Guinea? Uh, gestational Gestate. period. Gestate. <laughs> Hit it, professor. 59 to 72 days. Yeah, so that's, that's two a months. Lot. No. The litter size ranges from one to eight pups. Pups, that's a great word. Pups. I would keep all the pups. Brooke, you would end up with so many guinea pigs. It would be like you're in Peru. I know. I've always wanted to go. Can guinea pigs get pregnant at three months? What does that mean? Can guinea pigs get pregnant from their siblings? Yeah, for sure. Right? I look Or their up. children. If Frankie had a boy, there's no way that that boy could impregnate Frankie, right? I don't think it's impossible. Can and guinea pigs I certainly get don't think from that their children? I certainly don't think that they're smart enough to be like, that's my mom. I'm not attracted to Can her. Can guinea pigs reproduce with their children? Reported that inbreeding results in a, in a reduction in weaning weight among guinea... Okay, that doesn't help us at all. I don't know. Does anyone know? Can can guinea pigs get their mom pregnant? Boys will try and mate with their mom at three weeks <laughs> as the natural instinct that kicks is- in. Freud would love guinea pigs. Mm-hmm. Sigmund Freud. R.I.P. You would have loved guinea pigs. You would have been a good guest. Oh my gosh. He would have been so awesome. Mm-hmm. The modern day Sigmund Freud, unbiased, is Hank Green. We're still out to him, by the way. Woo! Oh my God. If Hank Green came on this podcast. Nut City. That would be my, that's my dream guest. Yeah. That would be really funny because I would just say all my normal stuff and just like let him be like, did he say that on purpose? It would be like so great to have someone like kind of as a buffer for the misinformation that we spread. I think he would give us time to finish spreading our misinformation and then come in as um, disaster relief. Yeah, crisis control. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me about your pants? Oh my Lord. I, like I can't believe today is the day I decided to wear underwear because it would feel so good to be rubbing up on this cashmere. Mm. These are seven for all mankind. They were a gift. I love that brand. Yeah, me freaking too. Um, it has a matching sweater. Why didn't you wear it? I can't find it. Oh. Yeah. But luckily... Why, was... How did you separate the pants from the <laughs> sweater? Well, the pants are not like going out going out and about right? pants, really. But the sweater is. But the sweater is very much like I could wear this out and about. Mm. Actually, you have definitely seen it 50 times because I wear it constantly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so this isn't a new piece. No. Oh, my gosh. I just never wear these out of my house. Oh, I love them. Feel them. I shouldn't have worn white socks with them. My bad. That's crazy. Why? Oh, my gosh. What? Why? It's just a little bit of a stark contrast that I'm not a fan of. it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, What were we talking about, Pookie? (laughs) Stink a butt. Uh... I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, Hank Green, but it just truly doesn't matter. Okay. So this is the saddest thing I've personally ever seen, and it happens every day now, and I'm going to show you okay. really quick. So every time I leave my house now, I get, I get this notification. Oh, that's so sad. I get that with Remy, too, for what it's worth. Oh, and I'm like... Oh, absolutely not. No man left behind. And I'm like, oh, he's fine. He's That's like a really dramatic. They could find a way to rephrase that in a more delicate way. <laughs> the air tag being like Max left behind. I'm like, How about he's... Max resting comfortably at home waiting for Papa to come back? Max resting on the couch that he's made his own. Mm-hmm. And I have to sit on the beanbag. Yeah, that feels more like it. Max Max resting. Max at resting. Well, I got the, I got the, amp... I have so much to say today. Good. It's like all hitting me at once. Real quick, I got the like ring indoor camera and like 
I'm not going to play coy, you know? I'm not going to play Joe Coy about how I have a ring camera in my living room. Like, it's crazy that I opted for that because obviously Amazon has access to, like, everything anyways. Like, I've come to peace with the fact that I'm going to have extremely targeted ads, which I don't mind because I buy every single thing that I get from a targeted ad. But the fact that I literally... I just squirted. I saw. The fact that I literally have a security camera in my living room, I'm naked all the time, and Amazon just has access, for sure has access to my indoor camera. I opted in for security cameras by way of Amazon in my house. That's crazy. I feel like that doesn't bother you though. Do not care. Yeah. That's why I was talking about my FBI agent. If they want to pop in and like see what I'm doing, be my guest. I'm an open book. Yeah, I also think you would, like if it was socially acceptable, you would go nudist mode. I would. Yeah. I wish we would have started there and never left. We did start there and we had to leave. Why did we have to leave? Like Adam and Eve. Because they were shy? They got shy. Or cold? No, they got shy. Do you think it was like a really... Once they ate the apple. Do you think it was like a really brisk day and Adam was like, I actually have to definitely put pants on. No, they got shy because they started to feel like shame and embarrassment. Once they ate the apple. Hi, guys. We want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Mint Mobile. One of the most stressful things about a new marriage is figuring out how to combine two entire lives into one. Seriously, like, whose bank account do we go with? Who has better insurance? Your sofa or mine? Good question. The one thing I found that Connor and I were both more than happy to combine was our wireless plan with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, phone plans for Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. Say bye bye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Our producer, Izzy, over here, uh, made the switch to Mint Mobile and said her service has been so much better than her other carrier. He who shan't be named. And plus, she's saving 45 bucks a month using Mint Mobile versus her old carrier. That's a crazy deal. It is. You can do a lot with 45 bucks a month. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. Phew! To get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash B and C. That's mintmobile.com slash B and C. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash B and C. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Okay. Because they weren't supposed to eat the apple. So okay, like, Christian girl Autumn. That's what do you Jewish mean? Too. That's Jewish I would. Yeah, I think so. As well? Yeah. I didn't know that. Adam and Eve are Jewish as well? I don't know. They're, I think they're Jewish. So they started wearing clothes and then they put on a yarmulke and the rest I don't think that they put on a yarmulke, but I think that I know that they put on clothes and I'm not sure if they were. I, I know I learned about them in Hebrew school, but I don't know if that makes sense. Oh my them gosh, Jewish. go figure. I don't, I don't, I don't know much about Adam or Eve. I'll, I'll, I'll check. Were Adam and Eve Jewish? I guess. Were they? Not technically. That's Uh-oh. the first word. The Jewish people Maybe religion began only with Abraham and his descendants in a different sense, though. There was no need for a Jewish people in the time of Adam. Okay. Rude. Wait, Adam and Eve had <laughs> children, and then those children were the fathers of different religions. Well, we can hear it. I'll summarize everything. Okay, go ahead. Pop off. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had, had Father, Father Abraham. Abraham I am one of them, and so are you. Jew <laughs> and me too. Namaste yeah, to well all. Well said. Well said. I could not have said that better myself. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anywho, yes. Huh. Anyways, so on 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 Sunday night, I'm sitting at home, and I was about to watch a movie I've never seen before, which may shock some. I've never seen Tropic Thunder. I haven't either. Yeah. And I, I love Ben Stiller. I love Ben Stiller. I think there's a lot of like non-PC things that are in that movie yeah. that I, I'm just fascinated by because Robert Downey Jr. is doing just fine. So I would love to like see how he was tastefully able to pull this off. I don't think it was tastefully. Jack Black, Robert Downey Jr., and Ben Stiller, tell me about a threesome. 
Can I just say? Dream blunt rotation. What does it mean for me? When I watch The Holiday, like, I'm all for Jack Black, not Jude Law. Like, oh, no, put I me in a room I... with Jack Black. Oh, put you in a room with a man? Mm-hmm. If put that me man in a room with Jack Black. I would feel safe with him, I think. Me too. I'd feel completely safe. I wouldn't feel safe with Jude Law. <laughs> I think you've awakened something deep within my soul. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jack Black. Jack Black in The Holiday is, is the prototype. And that's where I'll leave it. He's the blueprint. He's the blueprint. Um, can I do a sidebar about Jack Black? Yeah, bring him back as a rom-com star. That's what I want to well, do. Well, Brooke, we're so outspoken about rom-coms and how badly we need a renaissance. <gasps> oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know what I was going to say. I know exactly did what you you're going to say. Um, or did you not I had not seen it, but I got someone that, hang on, the sidebar about Jack Black. I saw Matt Friend on the red carpet at the Golden Globes with Jack Black, and Jack Black could not have been more engaged with Matt Friend. Which, and like, you just know he's the greatest father. Yeah. On God. Like, le- legend J-B-O-G. of Zelda, king. Yeah. Love him more than life itself, I'd say. I watched School of Rock the other night. Incredible. He's such a baby in that. What do you mean? He's a baby man. Positive connotation? Yes. Okay. Like baby. He's a young man. I'm addicted to. Yeah, I get it. Young man, comma, addicted to. Wait, I do want to talk about what's that? I don't even... Remember anything what that but you. Called. So Brooke and, and, saw anything yeah. but you. Really, 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 really horrible. <laughs> really horrible. Like I don't know what else to say besides that. Um, really horrible. Now I heard that it's, really it's, horrible. It's not Oscar worthy, but it is cheesy. So cheesy in the sense of like that's what you want out of a rom com. No, I heard. and so, I know that you would be a good judge of that. So I love cheesy. You're talking to someone. Who has seen all kissing booths yeah, that's multiple true. times of my own free will. This was an abomination. <gasps> no. An abomination. Really? Yeah, I think it it was Man. insulting to the nature of rom coms. I, I really do feel I'm that not way. even I have never enjoyed a rom com less. Like I didn't think it was possible for me. What how did you go into it? What was your headspace going into this movie? Well, I guess that's a good point because I went into it. Through, watching it through the lens of I'm gonna hate this. Oh, so I do think that that impacted my viewing experience. I, it's just, um, it has every everything to make the making of such a good rom com. They're on the beach. They're hot. They have chemistry. You know what, Connor? At the beginning of the movie, they framed Sydney Sweeney as the quirky oh. kind of like, oh my god, like I'm so silly. I spilled I spilled on my pants. It looks like I went pee pee. Like oh. that kind of girl. And that's where I was like, no, we're not doing Sydney Sweeney as that. <laughs> Is that girl right now? And I, I think, think you could do Glenn Powell as that guy, but he already yeah, did. I, was he in the movie with Zoe Deutsch where he was kind yes, of like that? set that, it up. Good rom-com. Yeah, that was good. I just, this really, really did not hit for me. And if it hit for you, great. Happy about that. Love that. The, yes, um, yeah. Really, really, really did not enjoy myself at all whatsoever. That's disappointing. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope you see it. I'm and not. Let, and let me know what you think. Ooh. Yeah. The good thing about it, here's the one good thing about it, less than two hours. Okay. We have to take our our wins where we get mm-hmm. there. That's good. Yeah. Did you see that she she got like actually bit by that spider in that scene? Like, no, in, I, I didn't. I, IRL, she was actually bit by that spider. No, I didn't see that. Man, the way that I would have dem- threw that spider 15 miles. Yeah. Oh, and it was probably like, someone's like pet spider. Yeah. It's like hard for me to like Watch these clips. Oh, that spider right there. It was a real spider. Yeah. CGI that. Yeah. We put a man on the moon. Yeah. CGI that spider. Yeah. It also, like, I was expecting it to be, like, super R-rated. Not at all. Oh, they wanted to make money. So. What do you, like, so they didn't have it R-rated because they wanted to make money? I think, like, a larger audience equal more money. Yeah, I guess. I feel like it would have been better if it was X-rated, personally. We want to see them have sex. Yeah. I do. Well, I mean, we did a little, but it was... Anyway, I don't want to spoil it. Um. Okay, see ya. Mm-hmm. Anyways. I was asking you about Max. Well, I was watching a movie at home, and that, that movie was Tropic Thunder. That's what I was going to oh, watch. Oh, yeah. And so I turned it on, and in LA, like anyone that's not here... We had like gale force hurricane style winds for like two full days. 
And Max was like loving it. And so I let him sit on my, like in my backyard and six minutes in to the movie and I'd like ju just played like the intro where they introduce everybody in like the movie sequence t style. And I'm like, it is freezing cold in here. I'm going to shut the door. So I was like, Max, come in. No Max in the yard. I was like, what? Where'd he go? And so this has been six minutes. It's not like it's been half an hour. Mm -hmm. And so I like go out in the street or like in the alleyway, no Max. Other side, no Max. Other side, no Max. I walk around my entire like block, no Max, no Max, no Max. I'm yelling his name, no Max. Get in my car. That was at 8.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. hits, still can't find him. 10.30, 11.30, midnight hits, still can't find him. I've, I've, I called 911, which they're like, there's people dying, Kim. And I was like, well. The emergency line? Yeah. I was like, I know that I'm dumb. What do I do? And they were like, we'll connect you to animal control. But luckily he's chipped to me. <laughs> Which if, you're, if your pet is microchipped, like from the pound, you do have to register that. So I would encourage you to stop right, what you're doing and do it. It's $50. I'm taking it that you hadn't done that. I hadn't done that. Um, okay. Next. So I post on, I'm going to give everyone what to do if you lose your dog in like an area with people. I post on next door immediately. Picture, description. People are on next door. Like it's their, like they're on it like Instagram. They're on it. They're sharing it. There's like 18 moms that are like, we're going to get your fur baby back. Then I post on Citizen App. Then I post on Pet Boom, which is like a website for literally lost and found dogs. And then I post on the Ring Camera app has like a lost dog feature, lost pet feature. And then I post on Facebook. This thing is going viral. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like loving it. <laughs> And I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm <laughs> um, like, he's safe at home. And I'm like, he's lost. <laughs> Share this with everyone you know. No, he was lost. Missing even. I'm up at midnight. I texted you at like, what, min what like 11? And I was like, Max is gone. Yeah. And I'm driving, then I'm driving around in my car. I'm walking around like this woman's like, I just saw, I just saw him over there. And I'm like, okay, I run over there. I'm like, there's no way she was lying. Cause there's no way oh. I figured out she was lying later, but like, I don't know why she would lie about that, but there's no That's way. That's sadistic. It was crazy. Cause it was basically, so I stayed up, it was three in the morning then it was four in the morning and I'm like sitting up in my bed. I can't sleep. And at four 50 or five 50 a.m. I can't remember someone DMs me on next door and is like, this girl posted on her Instagram story that she found Max. And he was like almost a mile away at Wells Fargo deposit, making a deposit. <laughs> And she picked him up and it was across like the busiest intersection. Obviously in my head, I'm thinking like anything could happen. He could have gotten hit. He's so dumb. He like does not have no, he has no respect for cars. Mm -hmm. Like he would be a great protester or something of that nature. Yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Lumi. Mm -hmm. Want a New Year's resolution that won't have you tangled in an elliptical or eating the world's most depressing salads? Here's one, smelling better naked. Lumi is a game-changing whole body deodorant designed by an OBGYN to work not only on pits, but also feet, privates, and everywhere else we get odor. Yeah. No matter where you use it, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long, all thanks to its one-of-a-kind pH-optimized formula. And they've got over 275,000 five-star reviews to show for it. Yeesh. Make the switch to Lumi, and this year will be all about head-to-toe confidence. No salads required. Lumi is a whole body deodorant and is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. Let me rattle them off some places it, as off the top of my head. Pits. Under boobs. Thigh folds. Belly buttons. Butt cracks. Flip it around to the front. Vulvas. <laughs> and feet. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. <laughs> I've been using Lumi in between my balls and my thighs. And it's changed the game. I chose Lavender Sage Scent. Which we love the lavender and we the sage. Do. We were just speaking about lavender. It's divine. It's yeah. completely divine. It keeps me fresh all day, no matter what life throws at me, and you never know. It's clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. How? How? The question on everybody's lips. Unlike certain deodorants that try to mask odor with a fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts. More like, mmm, a pre-deodorant. Mmm. 
Lumi was created by an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. It's baking soda free, paraben free, and pH balanced for a safe use below the belt. Mm -hmm. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid six deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. Mm. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code BNC at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code BNC. Um, speaking of BO, something smells awesome in here. Or are you being sarcastic? No. Is it my French vanilla coffee? Oh my God, it totally is. Thanks, Lumi. <laughs> um, and... She, I went over, she was so sweet, she like gave him back and he spent the night there with her and her dog. And she was like, I knew he was sweet, but like he had no tag on. Right. So I didn't know if he had an owner, but he was like so well-trained and so sweet that I knew that he had an owner, so I like posted it. And right, you know why he doesn't have a tag on? Tell me, Connor. You have no idea, do you? None. If anyone follows me on Snapchat, you saw this. On Friday, I took a picture of my toilet and everyone thought it was a sludge. It was Max's dog tag at the bottom of the toilet bowl. He has just learned how to drink out of the toilet. He will not drink out of his bowl anymore. I have no idea what that obsession is. Would love to look into that. Hank Green would love to explain that to me. He probably. would. What is... What it's just like if you're a dog, you don't know what the toilet is used for. Like that doesn't mean anything to you. So it's just a f better looking bowl. And it's ne it's probably his height. Yeah, too. it's a fun looking bowl. Yeah. Like why would you do anything else? Oh, now I'm totally understanding Yeah. It. I need the human equivalent of a yeah. toilet bowl to drink out. Yeah. Obsessed. Water. I would say oh, a water, water fountain fun. is probably dirtier than the toilet bowl. I've been eating a lot of dairy, so I would disagree with that. But, um, hmm. uh, so his dog tag was not, it had basically broken, so I couldn't put it back on him. So I was like, obviously I'm going to get around to it. Not two days later. While I'm while I'm sick to death, uh huh, in bed rotting away, so that's why he didn't have his dog tag. But guess who got an air tag shoved so far up his ass <laughs> when I when I got him back? Maxine. Maxine. <gasps> Brooke. <laughs> Woo! Guess where I, guess where he was found? At Wells Fargo. At Wells Fargo. Guess what's across the street? Uh, something called Maxine's. Maxine's Cafe. That's that's nuts. Oh my gosh. So he's like lost every privilege known to man and he's got this smug smile on his face like a little asshole. He's just like, I'm back. I'm like, yeah. Probably had a blast. That's like, a children's book. In my head, I was like, oh my gosh, he's probably just had the most traumatizing night of his life. And he's probably like, oh my gosh, I had like a blast with, with Penny and this girl, Lauren. Yeah. Down the street. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that he's home safe. Connor on Sunday my phone lit up at 12 a.m. and I looked over and it said Connor joined Citizen and I was like what a weird thing to do on a Sunday night. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she should have shared with I everyone didn't you Citizen know. I Citizen you could do like I lost my dog. I had to pay $20. I thought $20. Citizen was like I, I just got stabbed. I had to pay $20 for a Citizen representative to chat with me and they have to post it. Oh. So I had to pay my premium membership and today they're like, by the way, did you find your dog? Yeah, no thanks to you. Citizen app sucks balls. Nextdoor is on it. Although Nextdoor is needs- Is it the same thing? I haven't heard of Nextdoor. Nextdoor is like all good and bad. Like, oh, we just had someone steal packages from our porch. And then also like, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally everything. <laughs> 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 that's I mean, really good yeah it's like, <laughs> maybe it's a new twitter it is awesome like i'm all over it now because like oh now i need that, to download like, i've been looking for more things to do on my phone no now that and you'll meet a lot of people now that now that i had such a good experience with the next door app like i'm ready to pay it forward could this be the new sense. dating app one thousand percent this is a great way to meet people around you that being said they're all um mature they're more, more mature than us Older? Age-wise. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're on it. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving every second on Nextdoor app. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll have to download that. You should, honestly. And you you learn a lot. Like, see like, see someone posted neighborhood barbecue Saturday, you know, a lost black and white cat named Jerry. 
By the way, by the way, come to my barbecue. By the way, come to my barbecue and find. So interesting. I, I'll download right now. You should. Just so I don't. Like someone, forget. someone right there posted, uh, looking for a drill, looking to borrow a drill. It's that kind of thing. You could lend them your drill. I could lend them my drill. Ryan got me a drill to put my um, license plate on the back of my car because it's been the paper one for qu- quite some time. You know what? So we've we've gotten the first step done acquiring. Wait, the that's drill. awesome. Nice. Yeah. Wait, you, I told Making you baby steps. I told you it's so in for twenty twenty four. Completing a task. Oh, hundred percent. I should have had oh, Noah do that. Speak of the devil. You know what I've. This, I'm so late to this. So so late. So no one get on my ass and stuff about it but i heard this on a tiktok and they said they live by this thing as someone who like never completes tasks adhd vibes they say this to themselves all the time don't put it down put it away so i'm in my house now and it's kind of like normalizing breaks well it's no it's it's like okay like i finish using the scissors i usually just put them down on the counter but i do that with 15 things and then my house is dirty but it's like i finish using the scissors don't put it down Put it away. Oh, put I thought back. that was like kind of like com- doing tasks. Like don't stop, just press pause. It is. This, it's the same sort of thing. But like it's it's like, oh, I open up a perfect bar or something and I put the wrapper on my counter. It's like th- put the wrapper in the trash. That I know. And then like later you won't have 15 things out and about. Like when you take your shoes off next to the couch yeah. and then you get up from the couch, don't leave your shoes next to the couch. Put them away. Don't put it down. Put it away. And if you do it in the moment, then like instead of having 15 things to do later, you have it's all right then. Mm-hmm. And it's so damn easy to like pick up the rubber band that's been on the floor. Well, easier said than done. Pick things up. In the moment, though, it's like really changed my whole thing. Can I say something really quick? I've been thinking for the last like 20 minutes, should I pee now or wait till the end of the episode? And it's gotten to the point where it's like, it will just be a better episode if I go pee. Go pee. Don't you so, didn't even have to exp- you didn't even have to intro me to that. But I'm thinking that maybe you could talk about who you saw oh yesterday. Gosh, yeah, I will. And I'll be so so quick and speedy. Okay, cool. Take your time. Okay, so yesterday, again, a Snapchat thing. I'm posting out the walls on Snapchat. I kind of don't want anyone to add me because sometimes I drink too much and I post my entire evening. Um, but yesterday I posted because I'm on zoom chatting with izzy and brooke about this episode and someone walks by my my apartment like sees out to the sidewalk and i think vice versa because i have no tint on my windows uh so i'm looking out windows open and i'm like "Hmm, that man looks familiar there's a three-step process when someone looks familiar one they look familiar one they look like someone you know three it is or isn't that person so first i look out and i see this person and I go, hmm, that looks like Pedro Pascal. A moment goes by. Wait, sorry. Hmm, that person looks familiar. Hmm, that person looks like Pedro Pascal. Hmm, that person is Pedro Pascal. And I run with my laptop outside with the zoom on to show Brooke and Izzy, Pedro from behind. Pedro's sweet ass. Hate to see him go, but love to watch him leave. And I walk it outside and I show them. And they're like, Connor, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you take your phone? Take a picture with him. Ethical clout chaser. I shit the bed yesterday. I had the opportunity presented. Honestly, literally, God said, here's an underhand throw. Hit this one out of the park. And I flopped. I literally disappointed the entire community and I apologize. That being said, I did say, hold on, I'll be right back. I went barefoot in my delicates outside, speed walking, plop 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 you know like barefoot on a sidewalk with max and i'm like oh i'm gonna like find him like oh i'm just barefoot like i live here so we should probably get a photo together could not find him he disappeared like a thief in the night so brooke also said did you take a photo and you took a photo of your foot i'm so dumb like i wasn't thinking in the moment because i had messed up so bad i was like so i didn't think it was i was able to access him at that time but we did record the Zoom episode. We could find a way. We'll, we'll dox you if we do. Yeah, we could find a way. Sans dox to do that. You always do. Also, I want to 
talk about how we totally manifested that time when we said dream partnerships. We both manifested our partnerships and Cody dream partnership. Cody what got, did you manifest? Cody got nuts.com. I got Legos, which posted yesterday. Everyone is so on it about being like, oh my God, you got that. And I like said it so I quickly. didn't get Barnes and Noble. Not yet. Yet. Speaking of Barnes and Noble, I have gone every single day for the past nine days to Barnes and Noble to just look at the Court of Thorns and Roses display. Oh, it's massive. And then leave. <laughs> just like one, to make sure it's there safe and sound. Two, because it gives me, it's like, it gives me ener energy. Yeah. And then I can just go about the rest of my day. I want to, I think that's my fatal flaw. Like I, actually I'm going to cancel myself. <gasps> no, say I. And this is not to say I don't support local bookstores because I do also shop there, but like I prefer Barnes and Noble. You don't have to explain yourself. I just like it, the energy there. It's I, like I prefer it's like Starbucks. Crack. That. It's like crack to me. I want to. I want to live there. Do you have any of this chapstick? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, I it, get what it, you're it, saying. Oh my god, I have a present for you. This podcast is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Get started with one of their professional website templates with designs from every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want so your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device. Upload, organize, and access all your content from one place. With the new Asset Library, you're able to manage all of your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. Squarespace also allows you to easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Yeah. Design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you. Nice. Saving you time and money. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to H https colon slash slash www.squarespace.com slash b and c to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash b and c to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain yeah yep i already told you i was getting it though. oh yeah oh my gosh yes please because oh, brooke i really like your tinted gloss but i think it dried me out it's it is. I think it is drying, but I love it. But um, you're also all probably wondering, where are you in the Court of Thorns and Roses series? Mm -hmm. We've all been. Yeah. When you were gone, that's asking. what everyone was asking. Um, I'm up. I finished the book that I was reading last week, which was A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third book. And then I also finished the one after that, um, A Court of Frost and Starlight. And there's one more left. And I am not going to read that because anytime soon, because when I finish it, no reason to go on existing. Is she writing more? Yes, but I I don't have that accessible to me right now. So the thought of living in a world where I don't have the next book in front of me right. is challenging to think about. So I'm putting that off for as long as possible. I'm reading another book now that's just like fiction, which I used to love a few weeks ago. Now I'm disgusted. No wings, no fairies. Barf. Yeah, that sucks. I get barf, it. Uh, barf. I haven't had that experience via via book in a long time because I've been reading nonfiction. Oh, I, I see. I can never get on board with nonfiction. I don't know why I feel like I need a movie or a book to like change the way I operate in like a bettering sense, or else it's like a waste of my time. Unless it's a rom com. I wonder. I. And I would, I'm also going to get canceled for um, the book that did that for me. No, you're not because it was written and published and you're able to purchase it. Here's the thing, guys. When I was 17, so I was a senior in high school. Both a senior and a minor. So you can't be canceled. I was a minor. So you actually cannot cancel minors. And she's, she's neurodivergent as well. I am. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I That's a good question. I think, yeah, I don't know. I honestly just assume. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. But <laughs> it, well, it's, it was Colleen Hoover before Colleen Hoover was Colleen Hoover. It's this book, like, I don't know why no one talks about this one called Hopeless. 
it, it's just like it's obviously like not like a work of literature, but it's just like a lifetime movie that for whatever reason, I got so sucked into that book. It just blew the world wide open for me. And that's why I can't shit on Colleen Hoover because like she changed, she did change the game for me Wow. in high school. And so I can, I'll always, I'll always treasure. Wait, I'll that, always treasure it was that. a book, but I heard that wasn't her popular books. Yes. Oh. I haven't seen very much about Hopeless. Well, you may have just sp- sp- yeah, that was the book that kind of bl- blew me out of the water and, and cracked the matrix wow. and the mainframe as well. So I know people are like very like anti Colleen Hoover. And while I might not read Wait, why are they what she writes Colleen now, I just like because it's like not like good writing. Oh, per se, cry me a river. But it is that it, that did change the game for me. And if you haven't read that one, I thought I would everyone say, was like head over heels for Colleen Hoover last time. Very I divided, Ooh. very divided. Um, but if you haven't read that one, it does like read a bit younger. Like I read it in high school, and it's about high school people. That I would read that one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. On oh, God, there's something about people who have already come of age that love reading about coming of age. It's not. It's not a coming of age novel, per se. But it's a it's written in high it's a high it's about yeah, high you, schoolers. It's about high schoolers, but they're not coming of age really. They've they're, already they're, got it all figured out. No, they definitely don't have it all figured out. But I would say the focus is not them coming of age. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. The focus is here's what I there's a twist in the book that you're like I know there's a twist, but like I I know I'm I can't fully grasp what it is, and the whole time you're like this close to figuring out what it is, but then it's it's. Turns out you weren't close at all. Turns out oh, you weren't no. close at all. Yeah, I love those kinds of books. That's a mind fuck. Yeah. You could say that again. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I am right now. And I've decided that I want to make a book club called Oh, that's so Oh my gosh. Good. Isn't that good? Wait, you shouldn't even, you should not, we, sh- we should remove that and you should just like come out with it. Okay. How about just bleep it out? Oh. Yeah. I, oh my gosh. That is, that is a brilliant idea. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, oh that's exciting. God. Oh my gosh. So Yay. I'm, you just spoke it into existence as yeah. well. Yes. So let's talk about, do you want to talk about the Golden Globes? I have just like little things about like- Also, have people. you ever seen anyone match like this in your life? My no. bag and also my my shirt? No. Completely coincidental. You would think that I bought this bag as an accessory to the shirt, had the bag. Bought the shirt via Instagram ad. Feature. Feature. Wore these out yesterday, not thinking. Then I said, oh my God, you've never seen a bitch match like this. No, I haven't. Yeah. I've never, I was thinking that. You've never seen a bitch match like this. Never seen a bitch match like that. Yeah, so. Oh my God, I didn't give you your present, did I? Hand hand it over, bitch that matches. Oh, my mimble ball. You want to tell everyone about it? Yeah, okay. It is so dirty. Oh yeah, it was in my closet in the dust. Okay, you'll have well, to so you have to give him a bath. I wonder if you can just go right in the washer. Okay, so for audio only listeners, me and Brooke, when we were both really depressed at the same time, went to the what's that thing called Melrose Trading Post. Melrose Trading Post, and there was this booth that called us like beckoned us over, much like a siren to pirates, and it was these little fluffy balls that look like um, puffles from. Club Penguin. Exactly. And they're simply just like a stuffed ball with hair, like a troll doll. And they're all named different things. And me and Brooke were like, we both need to have a, a, of a, have a, have to have a mumble, mimble? Mimble ball. Mimble ball. And we both got one and they're named something. We had them. Mine was Ira and mine, yours was Bimble. Mine was Bimble, yeah. And they're just like hilarious. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I lost mine. I in, lost Ira. In all my moves. And, and I think we about figured Ira out every day. We figured out later that they are like meant for people with autism. Mm-hmm. This replaced Ira. Who's this? What is this young man's name? There's no way of knowing. I can actually go on the Mimble Ball yeah. um, Instagram and figure out what his name is because mm. they have all the names. They sell they sell Puffle plushies. Look at Walmart. Oh my god, that's <laughs> precious. I miss Club Penguin. Remember oh, my Club Penguin scary. era? I, I forgot about that. Mimble. I do, I do remember that. Mimbleball has like six followers and two of them are me and Connor. I know. 
It's because I'm obsessed. Me too. Um. Okay. Well, I thank you for bringing this. It's nice to have with me. They have an endless array of ridiculous hairstyles that will stay in place. Think spikes, mohawks, Dwight from The Office. Yep. Yeah. And oh. then here's a quote from Kevin Hart. I'm a fan of joy. I'm a fan of smile. I'm a fan of happy. I'm a fan of love. That is unrelated to Mimble Ball completely. <laughs> he, they just decided that that was it. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Wait, I'm dying to know what this young man's name is. Oh, I'm seeing pictures of Bimble and Ira and missing them so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, the highlights on their page are just autism <laughs> and pencils. <laughs> <laughs> no, an old timers. Woo! That is I awesome. love it. I do love it. And I miss <laughs> Ira <laughs> so bad. Can you do you mind clicking on the pencils highlight? <laughs> just curious. Pimples. I mean, pencils. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Oh my gosh. They have pencil toppers. It's like the book oh, fair. Oh, we need. Oh my if god. If I don't the get my fair. ass, if I don't sneak my ass into a Scholastic book fair, Connor, soon, when I die, that's my heaven. Brooke is the Scholastic book fair. What's the opposite of like two kids on each other's shoulders in a trench coat getting a rated R ticket for a movie? Because we need to go miniature mode wait, uh, and get wait, into wait, a Scholastic wait. book fair. Oh, I see what you. Let's just make one for adults. I don't think it'd be the same. I want to see the joy in children's faces. Unless that's weird. It could be. It could be a little weird. Um, I'm sorry. I'm like, can you show me? I actually already forget what the, this specific mimble looks like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at the way his hair is crazy. Oh, it's that one. Oh, he's so clean in that image. Look how crazy, Connor. Mimble balls have super soft, kinetic, zany, sculptable hair that can stand straight up with a tap or shake. Where, where Theo. an endless array, oh Theo. yeah, of ridiculous hairstyles that will stay in place. Think Spike. Think, are you, think spikes, mohawk, already, Dwight from the office. I already, yeah. Oh, you already said that. Yep. Um, but yeah, this is Theo. I need a haircut. I just really never bad. connected with Theo the way that I connected with Ira. Yeah, I know. But hopefully, you can after you give him a bath. <laughs> There's so many different ways you could shape his hair. I know. Do you want to talk about the Golden Globes? Yeah, just like briefly. Pop off. I wrote down Weird Al. Was Weird Al at the Golden Globes? Why did Not I, that I know why of. Did I do, why did I write that down? Oh, I thought it was Weird AI. Al. That you wrote I down. think it would be Weird Al if I'm not. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. If I'm not tripping balls. Yeah. I don't know what you meant by that. I have no clue. I didn't see him when I was watching. Weird Al Yankovic scores first ever Grammy as Weird wins Outstanding TV Movie. Did you see this Weird? This year? He won it. This year? Also, Emmys, we were talking about the Golden Globes. Oh. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, are the go oh yeah, no, that's a Golden Globe, right? Or that's an Emmy. That's they should make because they do like some of the Emmys before they air the Emmys. Oh, like the creative okay. Emmys. Here's what I want to say about the Golden Globes. What the hell is the Golden Globe? Like, why is that an award? It's not even an EGOT. It has, it has nothing to do with anything. Where where did it come from? What does it mean? I don't know. I but I feel like they've really worked their way up in terms of like prestige. What is a Golden? What does it mean? Like, I'm so confused. I thought it was the G and EGOT, and it's not. That's a Grammy. that's a Grammy. Golden Globe Award, any of the any of the awards presented annually to the Hollywood Foreign Press is, Okay, too many associations, first of all. There's like 50 now. Mm -hmm. In recognition of outstanding achievement in motion pictures and television during the previous year. That's what everything is. I don't know what... That's why I, it's, it's, I think it loses its sparkle because they have Emmys, Grammys, Oscars, Tonys, and now GGs? Everyone's going to have to be like, I got to get an Igagat. Well, I guess like the all of... The EGOTs, like they're all different. Like an Emmy's very different from an Oscar. That's very different from a Tony, which is very different from a Grammy. And so now I guess they're just kind of making more of of the same. Uh, like this, this is another, this would be another like Oscar or Emmy. It's an Oscar Emmy fusion per se. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Does that make sense? No. Okay. It hoys. Um, there's a lot of people that were shown. First of all, Joe, Joy, Co Joe Coy. Thoughts. Um, negative, negative thoughts. I just think that I can summarize the whole thing with 
just saying simply this. There's never going to be another Ricky Gervais ever. So like, I know that that's like the standard for everybody is like, oh, like, oh, we can't wait to see you. The host is too much pressure on the host to like make it good so much so that he had to throw his writers under the bus for his jokes. Like, I didn't write this, by the way. I have to say it. Shut also, up. I have never heard of him. He was engaged to Chelsea Handler, I think, recently. But he's like oh. a big. Oh. He, he's like a big comedian. Okay. Um, tough look to like shirk blame. I mean, I was like curling in on myself watching. Right. But I felt that way about like a lot of the past award shows. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah, I just think that there's all this pressure to make like groundbreaking jokes when it really can just be like, right, I'm a have funny to be person. Stand up. It doesn't it's, have to be stand up. My job is to be a, per you can just be a personality. Yeah. You don't have to like have punchlines. And the way that he delivered the punchlines, which he kept being like, I got this two weeks ago. I had to go through a lot of people for it to be approved. If you didn't like the joke when you were receiving it from the writers, you had the ability to, I'm sure at some point be like, I'm not going to make this Taylor Swift joke because anything negative at all, even though like, whatever it wasn't even negative is gonna like piss people off unless you're like i want to lay down at taylor's feet and let her step on my mm -hmm. step on me um i do think there's like a big difference between a comedian and a host and the people that should be hosting are oftentimes hosts rather than stand-up comedians yeah you're right like not all stand-up comedians are hosts Oh my Some gosh. are pick those because just because you're a stand-up comedian doesn't mean you're a host. J a rectangle is a square, but a square is yeah. not a rectangle. Yeah, Wait. no, I, they're pretty different. A square is a rectangle, but, but a rectangle is not a square. Yeah. yeah, but you're right. Like Jimmy Kimmel was a comedian, right? And now he's a host, right? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that I just think that like we just need to have a come to Jesus moment. Where we're just like, okay, there's no pressure. Just like literally get up there. And it's your, as a funny person that Introduce. got so far enough to be accepted yeah. into this role, don't have to like be groundbreakingly yeah. hilarious. Just like don't do what he did actually. Like I can just say that. It was like bad. Mm -hmm. it is, I always struggle with award shows in general just because like watching live TV like that always makes me nervous. And so to throw in someone like that makes it almost impossible to watch. Like, I think I would have preferred just looking at Twitter. Well, my whole Twitter feed was just like Joe Coy's fucking Do you think he's miserable right now? Like, I would you think be. he's like, it's fine. I know it, like Tiffany Haddish posted his a clip of him and was like, you killed it. And I was like, oof. Friend supporting friends. Friend supporting friends. That's how you, you, one can only hope to have a Tiffany Haddish in your corner. Yeah. But... Alas, that's tough. That's one of those where I would be like, I'm leaving immediately after the show. I'm not I'm not rubbing shoulders with any Juan. Right. I'm going home and I'm probably never going up on stage again. That's what I would do personally. Anyways, Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet yeah. absolutely smooching it up, whispering sweet nothings. It reminded me so much of that video like from a long time ago when that girl was in that subway or Panera or whatever and she was with a mannequin and... Oh, I'm like, not familiar with that. Oh, piece. is this allowed? What the hell? And like, she turns and is like, "Get away from us!" And it's like straight up a mannequin. Wait, do we, Luke? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> what would you even begin to Google? Like woman mannequin, couple subway? in restaurant mannequin. Yeah, TikTok or it was probably a Vine. I honestly think. Yep. Oh, wow. Good job. Is this allowed? Which one's the mannequin? The, oh, I guess it was. The girl was the man. Oh, maybe they're not mannequins. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was a Wait, they're, they're people? This is Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner at the Golden Globes. Okay. I think he's a mannequin. Wait, I think he's a mannequin. Uh, Connor, that's a man. That's a person. He is frozen solid. Oh no, his his that's a person. his posture is not giving mannequin. Yeah, that's a person. It's giving letter C. I um that is exactly Kylie Jenner and how do you feel about them as a couple? None of my business. Um feels like he's a make a wish kid that like 
None of my business. Wish for insert pussy. make a wish, kid. <laughs> um, Woo. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. I actually like feel like Timothy Whatever. is like. I'm not, I'm not joking. Higher I'm tier. Not gonna, I'm not going to blame my writers for that. I wrote that one in my head. To me, though, I do love the Kardashians. You know that Timothy is actually like higher tier to me. So he's not doing Make a Wish right now. That's a tough picture to look at. But the relationship does not make sense to me. But it's not for me to understand. No, it's like none of our business. Yeah. But we can. Like, if this was not them at all, and I just saw this come out, I'm like, oh, random. You know? Like, yeah, if I just saw them in public and they weren't who they are. Seeing Timothy and Greta Gerwig and Kylie talking, that I was like, that's not clicking for me. Like, what, what's Kylie saying right now? What's Greta just saying to Kylie? How's Timothy introducing her? So many questions running through my head. Yeah. And I'll never know. It's so weird at these, at these events seeing they're the subject of this photo, but then... Killian Murphy is in the back. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, that's weird to see like someone like him in the back of a photo. Right. Like, did Kylie say hi to him? We'll never know. It did seem like there were a lot of boots on the ground with cameras, though. Like, we got a lot of. Yeah. A yeah. lot of like fly on the wall footage, which like I wasn't ready for. The the uh, Did you hear Meryl Streep and Martin Short are hooking up? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hell. Hell yes. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Because, and then people are saying, you know how Selena was whispering to Taylor yeah. something and people were like, oh, she was saying the whole thing about wanting a picture with Timothy and Kylie said, no, that wasn't it. She was saying, and she was able to clarify herself, she was telling Taylor that two of her friends were hooking up. Wait, let me, I want to see the video and okay. see. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. This is making Ship. my loins OTP. quiver. OTP. Wow. Hell yeah. Mm-mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I want to put them. I want to cut that picture out and put it in a locket and wear it around. We should frame it for the set. Yeah. Um. The 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 video of Selena Gomez whispering to Taylor Swift and so she Kaylee was Taylor. actually saying that two of her friends are hooking up. She wasn't saying anything about Timothy and Kylie. It's hard when someone gives you the words that they and then they you, read see, the you see them. I can't unsee her being like, confirmation by. I you. asked for a photo. And she said no. Yeah. That's what I saw or something. Yeah. Um, but she was actually just saying two of her friends hooked up. And then people are like, oh, she's talking about Martin Short and Meryl Streep. Well, she <laughs> says no. And then she does that like, oh, yeah, you heard me, uh -huh. bitch. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, anything you could tell me she said anything and I'd be able to see that on her, on her lips. You know? But like Kaylee Teller goes, with Timothy? Maybe it's a different Timothy. Oh, it's Timothy Short. Yeah. Martin is Martin. Is, Martin, Martin also is, goes by Timothy. Martin is short for Timothy. Oh, I'm so dumb. Mm -hmm. Okay. No worries. Could happen to anyone. That's footage where it's like, whoa, they must have had a camera on all of these big players to go viral. They must have had cameras on them the entire mm -hmm. time to get like this snippet. Because I've seen this 40 times. Right. You are never safe. Like you have to monitor every action, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh God! Woo! Okay. Um. Okay. Next, Jennifer Lawrence is perfect. Just wanted to throw that out there. Like, did you see her? Like, uh, there's not a single Jennifer. If you're out there, or if I'm yelling into the void, that's fine too. Love you. I don't. I can't think of any any person on walking Earth right now that is more ideal perfect. And, and perfect. She. I. She is an exceptional she, woman. I, I'm in love with her. There's no. It's give. It's 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 making me blush right now. I've been saying her name. I know you're turning red. <sighs> she is incredible, and I am thrilled beyond belief that she was nominated for her work in No Hard Feelings. The yeah. best oh my God, I knew that you were feeling that way. Yeah. I, could, I could tell. I'm sure I'm, I am surprised that um, Andrew Barthelman was not considered. Well, he's such a freshman. Maybe he. Teen. Honestly, like I know that like you can't nominate a movie for a Tony, but that should be a movie that's nominated for a Tony. The exception. He should win a Tony for that film. Okay, that's for here his we performance go. Performance of Man Eater. People are forgetting that that's a rom-com and that actually was a step in the right direction. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. That's, let's go there. Yeah. Let's go in that direction. Yeah. Let's go in that direction. Let's go in that direction. That's one where it's like, I'm not in this, is this a rom-com? Like, I, I'm not right. in this. It should be like, is this a rom-com? That's where we are. There is romance and there is comedy. So I, it's not, and so you know what? It's not where you. It's not where you expect it to be. It's not traditional. It's not traditional in any way. Embrace the not traditional. Yeah. It's twenty twenty. 
What is 2024? 20, now. 2024, embrace it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I say I'm, yeah, I'm on your side. When the camera cut to her and when she was nominated for No Hard Feelings and she, she mouths, if I don't win, I'm leaving. Yeah. Get her on stage to host. And then she won. No, she didn't. <laughs> then she lost and she stayed. I thought she won. No, Emma Stone won. Oh. Which, by the way, she should have. For what? Poor things. Oh, I need to go see that. It is. I don't know if you'll like it or not, but I thought it really was incredible. She is. That's one of those movies I think I already said this. And I walk away from very few movies thinking like the acting was so good because I'm usually just focused on the plot. The acting. Oh, I'm going to go see it. Yeah. And that's such a character to play. No character has existed like this before. I got a 10. Um, two hours, 21 minutes. I can wrap my head around that. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't feel long to me. Little long for, for me. Uh, it was awesome. And I'll leave it at that. All right. Well. Um, Shall we move to the bonus? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have a lot to discuss in there. Guess, for example, yeah. the um, Alaskan Airlines plane door falling off. Yeah. Which I fear we might have manifested while talking about being scared of planes. But that's Something neither here nor there. Thing. That's neither here nor there. Um, so, yeah, we can talk about that and everyone's other things. Fine, so. Yeah, everyone's fine. In the bonus. We'll see you guys see in the bonus, there. hopefully. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube. Just click it. Click the button, please. And if you're listening on audio, it's so easy. And it's like nice to watch us use our hands if you are like audio specific. Sometimes we explain and you could see Mimble if you watch on. Oh, yeah. You don't want to miss Theo. Theo. And his crazy hair. Mm -hmm. There's so many things he can do. Yeah. With like his hair that you it. might not be able to see. Oh, damn. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. All right, okay. you guys. We'll see you in the bonus. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week if you don't come to the bonus, which is shame on you. Bye. <laughs> this week on Close Friends. Bring us back to the romance with ghost era. I want to fuck a ghost. Yeah. I just wish the first words always out of the pilot's mouth was everything's okay. No worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries. We're being hijacked, y'all. Yeah. Jesse, Finn and Jesse are identical twins. They are both brunette. I should have stopped right. before I said that. It's all right, man. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.